This video is sponsored by Skillshare, an online learning community that gathers millions of creative and curious people and offers thousands of really inspiring classes on such topics as illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, creative writing and much more. And I think literally everyone can find multiple perfectly curated classes on Skillshare to learn something new and to let your fantasy go. And today I want to recommend you the class that I had really enjoyed lately. It's called Hand Lettering in Procreate, Fundamentals to Finishing Touches by Jay Graham. And this is one of the best classes I've ever followed, not just on Skillshare, but in general, because it's very well structured, it's perfectly organized and it's very, very detailed. And all in all, it's just really packed with information and useful tips and tricks, providing you absolutely everything you need to know to create your first lettering artwork. I'm going to follow for sure more GS classes in the future because I think she's just an amazing teacher and she really knows what she does. And this is, by the way, what I've ended up creating as my class project, a little Halloween-inspired piece of lettering. So, and the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description box under this video will get a one month free trial of Skillshare, so you can start exploring your creativity already today. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring my art and my YouTube channel, and right now let's dive into a doll makeover. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Well guys, it's October and it means it's finally time to start working on our Halloween special dolls. I really love this time of the year because I really love making a little bit spooky dolls and this year I've planned three Halloween special dolls. I hope it will all work out. And today we're going to start actually with one of my most favorite Halloween characters. We're going to make one of the Sanderson sisters from the Hocus Pocus movie. And actually I think this is one of the best Halloween movies ever made. Really, I'm a huge fan of Hocus Pocus and I'm a huge fan of Sanderson sisters. But of course we cannot make all three sisters in one video, it would be too much. So that's why I've decided to start with my favorite one, with the boss witch. We are going to make Winifred Sanderson today. I really love this character and I'm really super inspired and super excited to start working on it because I wanted to make it already for a couple of years. Uh, my mom is going to help me with the outfit, so it means we're going to get something very pretty today, very pretty costume. So, and this is it probably. I want to keep this intro super short because it's going to be a very long video. I already know it's going to be a huge project, but you know, I really love this character and I want to do my best recreating Winifred Sanderson. Please guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, of course support my art here on YouTube with your likes and please hit that bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos because YouTube algorithm is acting a little bit strange lately. So, and this being said, let's start the makeover. So, as a model for this makeover, I'm going to use this Draculaura doll. She has the most neutral face mold out of all Monster High dolls, so I kinda can draw whatever I want on it. Of course, the mouse doll, you know, this Monster High doll with two front teeth would be more ideal. But I never had even one of these dolls in my stock, in my collection. So let's work with what we already have. And honestly, it would be even more interesting for me to make the big front teeth myself. So let's undress her, let's cut it all off, wipe off everything she has on. And then we'll continue with some dental job.
Oh my god guys, some satisfying chunks of hair are coming out of her head today. Okay, everything is gone from the face and now I can start working on her teeth finally and first of all I want to remove a little bit of rubber between her lips to get some extra space for placing the new big front teeth there. Then I'm making the teeth out of Warbler thermoplastic. So this is it, this is where I've ended up, it looks good to me, I can work with it, so now let's spray it all with Mr. Super Clear sealant. And then we can start drawing her new face using Carandash Super Color watercolor pencils and soft pastels from the brand Pan Pastels. And we are going for some arrogant boss witch facial expression today.
I gave her the brown eyes at first, but then I've decided to make the eyes more green because I thought it would look very pretty with her green outfit and also with the red hair, so I hope no one will get too much upset because of it. Okay, now let's blush her body quickly. You know, this process is less inspiring. I don't really like doing it. So let's do it really quickly and then we'll move on to some more exciting things like making outfit, accessories, hair. You know, I like these things much more than sanding and blushing doll bodies. <laughs> Like I told you already in the beginning, my mom, God bless her, is helping me again with this outfit. So you can see now her work in progress video right now. And she has actually quite a serious challenge today because Winifred wears quite a difficult outfit, well, difficult to recreate. It looks very medieval to me. There is some sort of a dress with lacing on the front. And it also has some multicolored skirt. Who knows what is going on there with this skirt? It looks like there is a lot going on there and then on top of it she has this gorgeous green velvet cloak decorated with embroidery it all looks really pretty and absolutely iconic many people choose this look to recreate for halloween but again it's not an easy one so now you can see my mom working on it and she starts actually with making the green and purple underdress with lacing When the dress is almost finished, she is still trimming the bottom edge of the skirt and she also paints it with acrylics to give it that more multicolored and multi-textured look. After finishing the dress, my mom starts working on the green cloak and all this embroidery it has been made with her sewing machine. The footage came out a little bit blurry, probably because it was all shaking. But yes, this is how it's been made. So now she needs to connect it all together and then attach some smaller details. guys here is the finished outfit just arrived at my studio and again I don't know I think this is the coolest outfit my mom ever made it looks unbelievably pretty very 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 detailed very professional very real I don't know I'm absolutely in love with it my mom is just getting better and better every time it seems Thank you. 
She also has made a pair of witch socks and also the witch necklace. So I think she deserves a huge like this time because this outfit is really a top professional. So and now I still need to make a pair of witch shoes, a witch book of spells and also that snake clasp to decorate the front of the outfit. And I'm going to start with making a pair of shoes. You can see I've already readjusted a little bit my standard pattern and I have added some long noses to the shoes. I've already cut all these details out of Warbler Thermoplastic and now we're going to start warming them up with a hair dryer and then connecting them together. The buckles of the shoes I'm going to make out of thick foam because it's just easier to cut than warbler. And here we are guys, the shoes are finished and they look really cute, like real witch shoes, I really love them, never made anything like this before. And I think they also look very good together with this outfit and with this green and black socks, really very happy with the result. Now we can move on and start working on that legendary book of spells, remember it from the movie, this huge also medieval looking book. I don't know guys, it looked so good that I want to do my best today recreating this book and I'm going to start actually on my iPad making the pages of the book and first of all I want to make the paper that would look old and brown and in some spots and stains. Then I've looked up actual texts of spells from the movie and I put them into my mini version of the book. Thank you. 
I've painted it on a photo paper that is textured like leather to make it look more medieval and you know, I think it looks absolutely legendary. I'm absolutely in love with this future book already. The pages look absolutely phenomenal. I hope you can see this texture on camera. It looks very, very pretty. I don't know, I'm very happy with this end result. So right now we're going to cut it all and we're going to glue the pages together. So this is what I've got so far, for now I'm going to put it under press and I will let it dry completely. Okay guys, this is the next day and the inside of the book looks extremely good. So now I'm going to make a cover for this book out of a piece of carton. So this is it guys, I just want to put some plastic between the pages otherwise they might get glued to each other and then I put it back under press and I will let it dry for 24 hours. So in meanwhile, while we are waiting for it to dry, we can 3D print the decorations for the book using my 3D printer and check it out. I've downloaded all this Winifred spell book decorations online. I'm going to put the link to it in the description box under this video. Maybe some of you want to make it as well as a part of your own Halloween look, like human size spell book. Because these things are absolutely perfect and they look exactly like in the movie. So now I'm printing it quickly, then we will wash, cure them and then we'll continue. Okay, the book decor looks really good, the book also looks good and it's already very dry. So I'm very happy with everything so far and we can start decorating the cover of the book. And first of all, I want to see where the eye will be. Remember there was an eye on the book in the movie. And then to the back of the book I glued a piece of ribbon. I will use it to make the closing mechanism later. Then I take tacky glue, tissue paper and I cover the book with a couple of layers of paper creating a very textured, a very wrinkly surface.
And then on top of this paper, while the glue is still wet, I'm attaching the decorations that we've just printed out. And after this, I will let it dry for a while. And then I can make this clasp, like the closing mechanism. Then I want to make the seams on the book, so first of all I'm sketching them with a pencil and then I'm going to use this Mod Podge product, it's like dimensional magic product, it's been made to create 3D texture and what is good for us, it has very very thin like top of this tube, how to call it, a nozzle, so it's ideal in our case. When all these layers of glue finally get dry, I cover it with Mr. Super Clear sealant and after this I can finally start painting it with acrylics. So this is it guys, this is my book of spells and I don't know, I think this is one of the coolest things I've ever made, such a cool looking old book, I don't know, and you can even curse someone for real using the text out of it, really proud of it today. Just this decoration on the side, it kept falling off while I was opening and closing the book, so after repairing it for a couple of times, I've made a decision to just get rid of it. It looks good without it as well, and it works even better without these things. So, this is it about the book. Now let's make the golden clasps, and for this I'm going to use actually the snake corners, the same we've just used to decorate the book. I will just remove the sides of them with the Dremel tool. The next step is attaching pins to the back of the snakes using epoxy resin. After this I paint them with golden acrylics. Uh -huh. 
Then I cover them with a layer of a leaf inside that makes the surface very sticky and I will be able to cover them with a gold leaf. In the end I attach a couple of green crystals. So and this is it guys. The snakes look super shiny like pieces of real jewelry. They look absolutely legit and very very pretty. This is how they look on the outfit. Also I think it's very close to what we can see on the pictures from the movie. So I'm very happy with this result and right now I think we can call the outfit completely finished. But we're not done yet guys because I still have to make hair for our Winnie Fred. She can't go without her iconic red hair. And I'm going to make it out of this acrylic yarn, bought it especially for this project because the color seems right to me. And the natural curl of this yarn will also work very good for this look. So first of all, let's cut this yarn, tie it around some sticks, make it loose. And afterwards, I'm going to brush it with a cat brush. Then I'm going to attach this curly and fluffy hair to the doll's hat using tacky glue. Okay, this is where I've ended up so far, I don't know, she looks already so much like Winifred, but of course I still need to style her hair to complete the look.
So guys, this is where I've ended up. She looks absolutely beautiful and right now I just need to finish it up with the very last details like attaching false lashes and adding glossy varnish to her eyes and lips and after this we will take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, here is finally the end result of my work today and I can tell you honestly, it was a huge project and it took a really long time to finish it, but right now I think this is probably the most beautiful doll I've ever made. In one hand, she is 100% recognizable as Winifred Sanderson, but instead of being an older witch lady, my Winifred looks young, arrogant and I don't know fierce and I'm absolutely in love with her. I especially like the front teeth, her face looks much more interesting and special because of them. Now I feel like I want to make more dolls with this rabbit teeth because it looks so stylish and unique. Then the outfit, I don't know, should I even say something about the outfit? I just think my mom deserves a huge like today for this dress and for this cloak because this outfit is a real masterpiece. It's, I don't know, it looks almost better than the one in the movie. Very pretty. Then the Book of Spells is also one of my favorite accessories I've ever made and what is the most important, I really enjoyed working on it from the very beginning till the very end. It was a really fun project for me. So and now guys I would love to hear your opinion, what you think about this doll and about all these accessories and the outfit and I also would love to know if I should make other Sanderson sisters as well. I wanted to start with Winifred and then if you like it I can make the rest of the ladies because all of them are very unique and very special and very interesting. And by the way, have any of you ever dressed like Sanderson sisters for Halloween? I'm absolutely sure some of you did because these characters are so, so, so iconic. I would dress as Winifred myself. So, and this doll is right now available for sale on eBay for three days. The link to it is in the description box under this video. So please go and check it out if you're interested. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. That was my very first Halloween special 2021. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, guys, please, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and I will see you already very soon, normally the next week, Friday, in my next Halloween special. Love you guys. Bye.